Hi, my name is Kalina Vipaga, and this is my informative speech on Brandon Cena. There are many different stories when it comes to spreading awareness, and the story of Brandon Cena is one that I think contributes. Tina's story provides a disturbing childhood and horrible death caused by transphobia. As many people don't support the lifestyle, no one deserved the unfair and disgusting death that had come for Tina. Though the story is disturbing, it is set to point out his life throughout the years as, as included his story and how it affected others. Tina's childhood was a main contribution to his personality adding that his childhood was often thought as sick or delusional. Tina Renee Brandon is, was born in Lincoln, Nebraska in 1972. Originally born as a female and described as a tomboy since a young age, uh, he had started to dress as a boy and often and soon became attracted to girls. According to OurHistory.org, Brandon believed she was a man trapped in a woman's body and did not identify herself as a lesbian. To suppress her femininity, her, her strapped, she strapped ace bandages around her chest, shaved, shaved her face, and stuffed socks into her jeans. Providing Tina's thoughts and actions of Tina's trans life, this ultimately contributed. As well as her childhood, Tina's 12-year-old best friend stated, on, according to TriviaVoices.com, she, she told me that one of her relatives was doing something to her that she didn't like. She just kind of said that, you know? He would kind of whip out his thing whip his thing out and play with it a little. And she occasionally, and occasionally said that he, he had her touch him and he would play with her. Providing a backstory to Tina's rough childhood, the story was also confirmed by Tina's therapist and abuse would, and this abuse would last not only hours, but did last years. Overall, giving background, for Tina's lifestyle, obviously wanting her, wanting him to find a new and improved life. As Tina already had a difficult lifestyle of being judged, he made the ultimate de decision to move away and start a start a life in a new place where nobody knew he was trans and he could be himself. Soon he settled in the in a town named Humboldt. He moved into a home of a single mother, Lisa Lambert. Tina befriended several locals, including John Lauder, Marvin Thomas Nissen, and started dating Lana Tinsdale. Um, this is a picture of Brandon Tina and then his girlfriend Lana Tinsdale at the time. According to allthingsinteresting.com, on December 19, 1993, Tina was arrested for forging checks, and when his girlfriend went to go pick him up from the police station, Tina was found in the female section. His girlfriend had no clue that Tina was a female, and, and Tina had explained that he, that he was hoping for sex reassignment surgery. After Lana found that out, she broke it off and ended the relationship. After, after the arrest, there was a newspaper, newspaper story published with not only Tina's real, real birth name, but outing that Tina was not a real man. When his friends found, found out, Marvin and John were furious. On December 24th, 1993, John and Marvin violently confronted Tina about his identity. Not only did they physically attack Tina, but they also forced, them, forced themselves and removed Tina's clothes in front of the entire party. Later, Marvin and John uh, kidnapped Tina, forced, 
forced him into a car, brutally, brutally raped him, then threatened to kill him if he reported to the police. Tina did later on report to the police, but the, but the police didn't believe him. The sheriff didn't take the story seriously, shrugged off that story, and ended up mocking it, saying things like, so then after he couldn't stick it in your vagina, he stuck it in your box or in your buttocks. Is that right? And also, did he play with your breasts? Made comments about putting socks in his pants and also made comments about that. He did not, the sheriff did not arrest Marvin or John, but did in interview them. And on December 31st, 1993, Uh, Marvin and John broke into Tina's home where he was staying at, stabbed, sh shot Tina, then stabbed him to confirm the death. Then after he murdered them, he murdered Miss Lambert as well as Lambert's other guests. This story may not mean anything to many people personally, but had a type, but had a type of toll on history. Movie, uh, there are movie and do uh, documentaries on the story, and such as the Br the Brandon Tina story, and features interviews of people involved in the case, such as family, friends, community members, and people who were convicted of the crime. According to Nevada, and I mean NebraskaExaminer.com, Isabella Manhart stated the story would would make it better Nebraska. Manhart pointed out, pointed the legislative bills, 574 proposed state, proposed to Senator in Omaha, allowing restrictions against gender affirming care on minors, puberty, AKA puberty blockers, hormone therapies, genital and non genital surgeries. It was passed by two votes already and needed one more to pass. And the third or fourth time presentation said said it was sad it was sad. It took thirty years for it and it was to still fill filled with hatred after thirty years and it and they're glad that the story of Tina could still be passed on. Another film as about Tina, Boys Don't Boys Don't Cry talk about other stories and Tina as well. Allthingsinteresting.com uh, states that Tina's girlfriend ends up staying with him, but it wasn't true. And seeing, at, and after Tina's ex-girlfriend seen this, she sued and stated that they had broke up after the incident. This shows the, the, the changes Tina's story affected and turned into arranging laws and and the story was put into films. In the end, this story provides how Tina grew up and his self-image and how it changed, leading into his adulthood and how his how him being transgender is is the reason why he died. And lastly, the unfair treatment and death caused caused a uh, change in others' lives and turned into films educating others. And then this was John and Marvin. So the people who have killed Tina. And then this is my audience. <laughs>